call me a stalker. I personally prefer the term investigative pursuer. <laughs> now I know what you all may be thinking. This chick is crazy. Does she really stalk people? To what extent? Yes, all of the above may be true. But I'm here to tell you that stalking is something we all do. By raise of hands, how many of you have never stalked someone on social media? <laughs> okay, there's a couple. You guys are lying. <laughs> you see, stalking tends to have this negative connotation to it. Some people think it's weird or maybe a little creepy if you stalk them. But for me, stalking has only ever been a positive experience. Today, I'm going to teach each and every one of you how to gain an eternal companion by following a very simple formula. <laughs> Stalk, drop, and roll. <laughs> the summer before I moved to college, I decided I would browse around a little, see what I was getting myself into. The apartment complex I was moving to just so happened to have an Instagram page where they posted Man Crush Mondays. So what did I do? I stalked. And let me just tell you, the best things in life aren't things. They are pictures of cute boys on Instagram. <laughs> there were good looking ones here and there, but all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I stumbled upon the picture of the most beautiful man I had ever seen. It was love at first sight, honestly. Lucky for me, he just so happened to be tagged in the picture. So, again, what did I do? I stalked. And when I say stalked, I don't mean just gracefully glancing through the last few pictures. No. I'm talking years. Go back, look at everything you possibly can, determine if this is someone you want to spend the rest of your life with. <laughs> Which brings me to my next point. Drop. I determined that this guy did seem pretty awesome. So I dropped my finger on that follow button, and I followed him. I was a little skeptical to do this at first. Thought he might think I'm crazy, like, who is this girl? How did she find me? As Liam Neeson basically said in the movie Taken, I will find you, and I will marry you. I decided he doesn't know who I am, so it doesn't really matter. So I followed him, and only 12 short minutes later, I got a follow back. Finally, our last step of the equation, to roll. I didn't play a very big part in this step, but this, this is when he really came into the picture. Carson Crosby not only slid, he rolled into my DMs. <laughs> At the time, my bio on Instagram said something along the lines of, H-Town, BYU bound, because I'm from Hurricane, Utah, a very small town which we call H-Town. Little did I know at the time that there are other far bigger places on this planet also called H-Town, one of which being Houston, Texas, which just happened to be where he was from. So he sent me a message, he said, hey, you're from Houston? And I replied, no, I'm from Hurricane, Utah. And the rest is history. So friends, what have we learned here today? Philip Adams once said, most people can do extraordinary things if they have the confidence and take the risks. So have the confidence to stalk that cute boy on Instagram. Take the risk to slide into those DMs. As we stalk, drop, and roll, we will find happiness to last a lifetime. Some still call me a stalker. But today, Carson Crosby calls me his wife. <laughs>